Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you one of the meals that I make when I do my meal prep. It's a question that I've been getting asked quite a lot recently. If you are on my Snapchat, you'll have seen me do my meal prep uh, quite often. I post about it. So I thought I'd make a, a video here just to show you what I do. And this process is really fast, easy, and it actually requires absolutely no cooking. This is literally a three-step process. And it usually takes me around 20 minutes to do 20 or so meals. This meal is packed with tons of protein, fiber, it's super low in calories, as well as being really, really filling. And the great thing is it's a vegan meal, so it fits any diet and obviously you can customize it to make it even bigger or more tasty or however you want. But I'm just gonna show you the core essence of it. So before I go into it, I just wanna talk really quickly about what are the benefits of meal prepping and why should you be meal prepping? Well, you can't out train a bad diet. Everyone knows that, you know, whether your goal is aesthetics or performance or just giving your body really good fuel. Meal prep is absolutely key for me. It helps me to stick to a healthy diet, especially when my willpower is low and it's a busy day. There's lots going on. I don't have to think about what I'm going to eat. It saves me a huge amount of time because all I have to do is grab the meal out of the freezer and stick it in the microwave. I'm saving so much money, you know, I'm not buying any crappy processed food that doesn't nourish my body. I find if I'm eating rubbish food, junk food throughout the day, it affects my focus and my concentration. I'm feeling tired, you know, especially after lunch, having a big heavy meal can just send you to sleep sometimes. And you know, having this meal, it removes the temptation for you to eat that guilty kind of processed rubbish food. And just having one healthy meal per day, it really does make a massive difference. And I find that doing this at the beginning of my week, usually do it on a Sunday, it really sets me up for the week ahead, helps me stay focused and keeps me on track with my macros and my uh, fitness goals. So there's th really three really simple steps. The first one is, I grab some frozen sweet corn, some frozen peas, and some soy mince, as you can see here, some vegan corn, and some spices and sauces that I like. And the next bit is, is really simple. I don't cook it. All I do is I take a spoonful of each with this big spoon you can see here. I grab a bunch of containers, and I evenly share it out into each container. And then at the end of it, what you want to do is add your spices and sauces, and it's done. Like, it's that simple. Uh, from here, you just put it in the freezer and you're good to go. Now, I wanna address a few common questions and concerns because it almost sounds too simple and too good to be true. And I've been doing this for a while. So one of them is, you know, is there too much soy in this meal? Well, what you've gotta understand is this is just one meal I have of many throughout my day. But setting one this one meal up, it's like a cornerstone meal that keeps me on track. There's also a variety of other foods that I eat, but, I make sure that I get this one done so that it gives me that foundation so that I know at least one of my four or five meals throughout the day is taken care of. And I know that it's gonna have the protein, the fiber, the vegetable requirements that I want for me to be nourished and healthy. The second concern is, you know, why, why aren't you cooking it? Why go straight from frozen? Well, here's the thing. I did originally do that, but then I realized it saves me time if I don't cook it. Why would you want to cook the food and then freeze it and then cook it again? By that time, I'm killing all the nutrients in the food. I want to preserve as many of those good, healthy, nutritional values in the food as much as possible. The next one is probably the next two are the most common. You know, microwaving your food is unhealthy. Um, and is this all you're going to eat? You know, this is boring. Well, here's the thing. Cooking in the microwave can definitely, you're right, affect the nutritional value of foods. But nutrients are lost when you heat food in any way, whether you boil it, you grill it, you fry it or steam it. And the goal is to try and preserve the nutritional loss as much as possible. And as long as you don't overcook your food, microwaving can actually be a healthy way to cook as it only uses a little amount of water. All it's really doing is vibrating the water molecules in your food to heat it up. And the next one, you know, that this meal is kind of boring. Well, don't get it twisted. You're only seeing one of my meals here. And this, like I said, this base meal gives me a solid foundation. And what I do is, like you can see here, I normally add things like cottage cheese, you know, to get extra amounts of protein in, to make it even more healthy, add even more satiety. And I find personally that simplicity is key. I want to save my focus and energy on more important decisions like and making daily videos for you guys. So 
I don't really want to sweat the small stuff. And you know what's more boring? Taking a pill every day because you've got a disease from poor nutrition and lifestyle choices and habits and having low energy and having a lethargic body. This actually frees up my time so I can spend less time worrying and thinking about food and enjoy it when I do. You know, life is all about balance. So hope you guys enjoy this video. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in tomorrow's daily video. Peace.